right, let's get a little bit more close on this next one. And I'm just going to show you with one hand. Oftentimes I would have both hands. Both. And this is one of the places I do use my thumb. Working the super spinatus. Slowly. Staying inside that fossa. Now I can also take it again and bring knuckle in. You're going to get these pads on the knuckle from working it. And just clean it up on the fossa. We could call for some movement here, but I'm just showing you the technique. The movement would be kind of if we had our client pretend like she was Superwoman and was flying, and she just would take her arms like that and bring them up in front of her toward me like she was flying. Yeah, while we held on to the Super Spinatus and back down. And yeah, so that's the movement of the Super Spinatus. One more time, just bring that arm around, yep, and up, there you go, and back down. That's the movement you call for when doing the super spinatus. A little bit more intense that way when you... Deeper. What's that? Deeper. She wants it deeper. Uh-huh. Well, we don't want to use that tool for deeper. We'll use this one. What are these two together? Good. And I come up here as well. Same thing. Gently just feel where it is with the thumb. Make sure that the joint's not locked. Now we're starting to work a little bit on the infraspinatus spine of the scapula. It's working in that fossa a little bit. Kind of opening everything up a little bit. And back in here again. And of course, we could go for that movement again, but got a pretty good idea. Just kind of taking the tissue laterally in super spinatus. And then if I go over the spine, right there, now we're having a conversation. Of the infraspinatus. Supra, infra. Alright. 